people has held us back so much. So many people has held us back so much. So much. And I'm going to tell you why. Because, okay, your God is your biggest thing to anybody, right? Whatever you want to call it, whatever religion you have. God is, 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 is a big thing to everybody. It's everything, the crux of how you hear, what you believe in, your morals, your basis. God is, there's nothing that compares to people's belief in what God is. If you could be the voice of God, how much could you control a person? Right? So Christianity is white people being the voice of God for us. This is why you find uh, black people who say, um, I'm just going to pray a little while longer. I'm going to wait on the Lord. I'm going to turn the other cheek. I'm going to pray for my enemies. Well, why you don't want to put your foot on their neck? Why you don't want to kill your enemy when they murdering you? Like, why do you want to pray for them? That makes no logical sense to me. Because as a human being, your first instinct should be self-preservation. And to do what you need to do to survive. Jeremiah 4 and 22. For my people is foolish. They have not known me. They are saddest children. They have none understanding. They are wise to do evil, but to do good, they have no knowledge. Shalom, Israel, giving all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bashim, Yahusha, Bashim, Rachak, and Dash, the Wanis to the apostles, elders of, of GMS who rule well, citation to Akimah, they pushing his word in truth, sincerely risking your freedom and like to do so, more so now than ever before, because uh, we're close to the to the end, as as you should already know. Um, you know, a video I played out, you know, a play is by, you know, you know, beautiful sister. She's bringing out how Christianity destroyed the minds of our people. And, and it sure has. And it's not just the so-called Negroes that's destroyed. It's the Latino tribes and the Native Americans. They have this image up of a man they call Christ and God, but... We know, according to the scriptures, that's a lie. It's a huge lie. Um, and it's a lie that polluted the minds of our people to just just to do vile, wicked things, um, to believe a lie. All right. You see. So this is Jeremiah 4 and 22 for my people. It's foolish. They have they have not known me. Right. When you call on Christ and Jesus and God. And, and you put a picture up of a, of a so-called white man with clouds around him saying that this is, this is the, the, the son of the heavenly father. You don't know the Lord. First off, the heavenly father's people are the Hebrew Israelites. So they'd be Hebrew. Therefore, their dialect would be in Hebrew. Their names would be in Hebrew. Their God that God's name would be in Hebrew. I mean, it would only make sense. Then you'll find out who's his people. According to the scriptures, Jew, Judah, Jew stands from Judah. And Judah, um, it clearly tells you that uh, Judah mourners in the gates there of language, they are black into the ground. So the real Jews are dark-skinned people. The Lord himself who you ignorantly call Jesus Christ is a dark skinned man with a uh, woolly hair, white woolly hair. You see? So who's this man you're putting up? When you put that man up, you're clearly telling the world and the Lord that you don't know him. You're telling the Heavenly Father that you don't know him. So it said, for my people is foolish, they have not known me. They are saddest children. Saddest meaning. Let's get it. Habitually drunk or stupidly drunk. You ever seen a man that was just just out of his mind drunk? You know, he took back, he took back a damn pint of 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 cognac or vodka and he's just stumbling all over the place. He can't get his words out. He's saying gibberish. That's what the Lord said his people are. Like, like, like he's comparing our people to somebody that's drunk. That's how slow our people are. That's how simple our people are. They have no coherency. They they have no uh, mental fortitude, no no wits about them. 
and they have none understanding. They are wise to do evil, but to do good, they have no knowledge. Right, man. You got, especially the Latin tribes, they put this, this image up of who they ignorantly call the Lord. Hold them, hold them in high reverence, put them in a high place in, in the house, put a post up there, burn candles for him, pray five times, uh, uh, so-called sacrifice, go to church, give all their money to the pastor tithes because this is what they really believe, the, who the Lord is. And it's a lie. Our people don't know the Heavenly Father and that enslaved the minds of our people, but we know that this is a curse that befell the children of Israel for disobedience. Deuteronomy 28.64, this is what Moses said on Mount Sinai when he gave, when he gave the law to Israel. Um, he said that if you don't follow it, this is what's going to happen to you. And that's how we know furthering or further proving that we are the children of Israel because this, these things definitely happen to us without a shadow of a doubt. And not just the so-called Negroes, but the Latino and Native Americans. Deuteronomy 28, verse 64. And the Lord shall scatter thee among all people from one end of the earth even to the other. Right. So you got Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans in all lands of the world. Prove me wrong. Got them in the islands. Got them in South America. Got them in America. Got them in Canada. Got them in Germany. You got them in Russia. You got... You got Black and Latinos in China, all right? India, all right? Uh, uh, Yemen, Iran. Any place, it might not be a lot of them, but you're scattered there. You might have like a remnant of maybe 10,000 to 100,000 people, and the population is a few million. Our people all over the place speaking different languages. And there thou shalt serve other gods, right? When you call on Allah, it's another god. When you call on uh, Krishna or, or Heli Selassie or, or um, a Hindu, the god of the Hindu, that's, that's other gods. You're worshiping other gods, which neither thou nor thy fathers have known. And, and the, the Israelites, our forefathers, didn't know these guys that you call on. There was no such thing as Allah back then. There was no such thing as uh, Heli Selassie. Heli Krishna. All right? There was no such thing. These wasn't, these wasn't guys that were around at the time. I, our forefathers never knew these gods. You know, it said even wood and stone, and 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 and, and oh yeah, yeah, the big one, Jesus Christ. How could I forget? Our forefathers didn't know Jesus Christ. The hell, Latin? What was that? Latin? They didn't know that. They didn't even know that language. I don't even think that language was around at the time. You know. So, you know, our, all these religions, and that's why when he asks, are we a religion? You say no, because to be a religion, when you go back into the etymology, it just goes back to the uh, root word. Religio means to divide or bind. All right. What is it? It's enslaving your mind with falsehood and lies. And when you actually read the Bible and understand it, you'll realize that it is lies. So, and this happened before, man. Our people was always going astray. Second Maccabees 4, verse 15. Not setting by the honor of their fathers, but liking the glory of the...